Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Tableau Prep video and today I'm gonna show you how can we adjust columns on Tableau Prep. That means how can we rename, reorder, filter columns and even how can we clean new data. So let's do it together. So guys, here you are already seeing my Tableau Prep screen, but before I start, I just want to ask you, are you a subscriber already? If you are not, please check it and subscribe. If you like our video, don't forget to thumbs up, okay? This is good for us to reach more audience, to achieve more people during the months, okay? So I count on you, so please check it and subscribe if you are not, okay? So now let's continue our, our project. I'm gonna use the Superstore dataset because this is a sample of Tableau Prep as I already told you in previous videos. This is a data sample, so I'm gonna use that in order to you to follow as well as me at the same time, okay? So click once in Superstore, and then I have a problem, the flow fly. Uh, okay, I will click that those one didn't work, so I will click in this part, sample flows, because I've already uh, reinstalled the Tableau Prep in my machine, so that workflow was an old version, maybe this new will work. Yes, exactly. So don't forget, when you just reinstall the Tableau Prep in your computer, if you have a previous version of data samples, this previous will want work okay don't forget will not work so please uh, click in the under part on uh, you saw me clicking the one that says superstore okay here we have the sample so in this sample I can check that I have information about sales in the south about sales in the east orders in west and also order central Okay, I'm gonna use just this this first one, this first one data flow. Uh, then I will just select all of the other steps over here and delete with my keyboard. Again, I will delete. And then we're gonna start to do the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is just to adjust columns and how can we do it on Tableau Prep. You have to click on this plus sign uh, over here. Click once and then choose the clean step, okay? This is the step to do everything about columns. Every treatment in columns we're gonna do with this clean step. Before, continue, just click with the right button in our mice and then rename it. So I will rename this step in order to be more understandable for future users. So I'm gonna use it here like columns adjustments, All right? So this is what I'm gonna do it. So I have the name of the of step now, and then I'm gonna start to do the modeling in columns. The first one that I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you guys is how to rename the columns, for example, I wanna rename these sales for order sales, for example, okay? Sometimes there's no sense, but I'm just use it to teach you how to do it, okay? So I will click twice on the name of the column, and then I just put it the name over here. Like, not I just, why I put it that? So I'm gonna put it orders from Okay, I'm gonna put it orders from south. Then a separator and then sales and enter. When you do that, Tableau Prep just uh, change the name, rename the field automatically, instantaneously, all right? So here I have the quantity. I will click twice and put it uh, a separator and then I will put it unit for example, and that's all. I'm gonna just rename these two columns. So as you can see, I already changed the names, but if I do something wrong, I can just uh, review the step that I, uh, I've applied in my data flow, just clicking this left side, that is, you can see the name change over here, just clicking this symbol, this icon, error icon, and you will see these two steps. 
So each step that you do on Tableau Prep, Tableau Prep will just fix it over here in the left side of this step, this clean step, and you can just click and the step and check what Tableau Prep did in each one, okay? If I click in this first one, I can see the this field highlighted and I can see that I changed something here, checking over here. There is a little description says from sales to orders from South sales. If I want to change it, this step, I can click in this little pen over here, click once, and then Tableau Prep will show me the way to edit this step. Please check always when you started to uh, redo something, don't forget to click in this little pen, this icon of pen, because if you don't, Tableau Prep will just put it another step in your data flow and this will be like worst for your, uh, when you run, the flow will be more, is a more lazy, I mean, like is slow, really slow to run it because you have a lot of step, steps in your data flow that don't work uh, properly because you have like, I rename it from this and then I rename it, they rename it, you know? You, you know what I mean? So please be careful with that. So always moving back to the, the step and clicking the icon of the pen icon over here and read it from this because when you do it, Tableau Prep just changed this step and keep the only one step for this uh, adjust that you already done, all right? So let's move on to the second thing that we can do with the clean step. The second one will be the column filters. I'm gonna show you how can we do column filters over here. We can just click in the columns that we want to work. For example, in my case, I'm gonna use it. this one and the quantity unit, only these two fields, okay? To do it, I can just hold the control in my keyboard and click in the both columns. And then I can just move a little bit up over here, these three dots, click once and put, okay, this is not the one that I want to do. Here is, I can just hide or remove, but I don't want to remove or hide. I want to just to keep these ones. So to do it, instead to click in these three dots, I will just click in one of the fields with the right button in my mouse and then put it this option, keep only, okay? When I do it, Tableau Prep instantaneously remove the other columns. And I can see these movements over here. The step is already applied. Keep fields, all right? If you want to change it, you can just move up a little bit and then redo it this step, okay? This step, because in this case, we don't have the little pen over here. So we can just remove it, this step, and redo, all right? That's how Tableau Prep works with filters in columns. Okay, guys, so we already understand how to rename it, how to filter. Now I'm going to show you how can we, uh, let me see, how can we reorder. But to reorder, I will, will just remove this step and I will put it like three, four fields now. So orders from South, quantity unit, profit, and also region, okay? Not region, I will put it stated, state, okay? So this four, again, guys, I just wrote it, the control in my keyboard and I selected this four, then I click with the right button and keep only. Voila. Here we have our four fields, all right? Now I'm gonna just reorder these fields. How can I do it? I want to start my data set with state. So I just want to, I just need to click once and then with the mouse moving left or right. It's the pen of you, okay? It's up to you. So I will just move it here and left on this first position, then I will put it orders, quantity, and finally profit. Or if I just wanna move in profit in front of quantity, I just do it. So reorder, it's really, really easy. 
to do it and as you can see over here Tableau Prep applied these two movements in only one step, the keep fields, okay? Now I have the fields that I keep it, I kept and also the reorder that I do, all right? If I don't just want to see how it was in the first moment in before this field, I can just click in the preview step, like rename it field, the step rename it field, and I can see how my data set was in the beginning. Now I have this final version. All right. So rename it column filters and also reorder. Now let's learn the fourth thing that we can do with clean step. The final uh, clue that I want to you. The final one, it's about to clean data, not the fields, but the data. I mean, the rows, for example, sometimes you have new values in your data set and you want to just remove these new values. In my case, I don't have it because when I see this part over here, I have content for each row. So let's imagine that Virginia was supposed to be new value. Okay. Not Virginia anymore. Now it's a new value for us. All right. And I want to just remove this row. First of all, I have to check how many rules I have it in order just to know how many rules I will remove from my data set. So if I just moving on with the mouse, I can see with the mice, I can see how many rows I have it. So in my case, I have two, 224 rows with the information related to Virginia and I want to remove it. So to do it, I have to click once over here and then Tableau Prep just highlighted this information, then works as well as filter of columns. I have just to click with the right button in my mice and then exclude or keep only. Keep only means just to stay with this information. Exclude means exclude this uh, data from my data set. Okay, I will put it exclude. And I can see now working it. Okay. So now work it. So I can check that I don't have Virginia anymore in my data set. I just wanted to move in back to filter step over here, guys, in the left side. And I here, here I have the pen icon that I, if I want to change something in this filter, I can do it. This is a filter, but works as a data cleansing. Okay. It's in our case, it's, it's the same. But I will just remove this step and then I'm gonna show you one clue more. Okay. Instead, Virginia, I want to change Virginia for a new value. How can I do it as it was supposed to be in the beginning, as I told you. So if I click once and then right button, I have this option over here, replace with no. So if I put it replace with new, now Virginia becomes new value. Okay. And then to work as I want to work, I will just exclude this new value. So now I have another thing that I showed you how to replace content in data. So you can change Virginia for new in our case, it worked like that. And then how to remove some data that you don't want to use in your data flow. All right. Then guys, that's how we can do a lot of adjustments in columns on Tableau Prep. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please share this content with more people. Also, if you have any questions, just let me know in comments and see you in the next video. Bye.